I'm going at like kind of fair weather fans or I can't remember the the what is the some money something fans whatever he was saying new money new money fans yes the, the analogy he uses i came up with one just like it it's like if you buy your girlfriend a, a, a purse and you get her a prada purse and then she 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 opens it and she's like don't like it i want a gucci purse that's all this is going on right here but then there's some people who are like i don't want the purse at all and i let just throw it away and that's where i'm at with it i'm with stick i like what he has said me and him sat for two weeks i i watched the bears game and this packers game with stick and we both sat there, and yes, they were ugly. They were bad. But like the Bears game, when everyone was saying how bad it was, they came back and won the football game. The Packers, like they put themselves in the hole, and we both sat there, and we we're like, going to have those games. Yeah. You're having, you're, you're, it's there a bad is, stretch of football. There, it's a real thing, learning how to. It's a shooter slump. Learning how to be a fan of a good team is a real thing. Like there, there are certain expectations that we all have now, now that we know the Lions are a legit team. And I do. I know a lot of people jumped off the bandwagon today, but I do know that they're an actual good team. So you got to learn how to deal with it. Like they, no team in the NFL, except those Patriots a couple of years back, are going to win every single game, are going to blow out every single team, are going to beat all the bad teams on their schedule. That's what makes the NFL so great, the parody. Uh, the Lions, yes, they are going on a bad stretch, but they still got... They still got enough pieces on offense. And, and to get can there. I address easy Defense before we do all this? And I'm not going to talk about easy the rest of the show. Of course. I'm not going to read his comments. You but... got flip-flops on? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 good one. Um, but easy, he said, Booner and Stick, two slap asses on in a pod. Um, listen, easy, this is the thing. I'm gonna go in here, we're gonna, oh. we're gonna criticize today. I'm gonna have great conversations with Lucas, who me and him have argued about the lines before we've had, we're gonna have great conversations. I'm gonna criticize, but at the same time, I'm not gonna jump shit just so my narratives get fit. From what I've said a year ago, I don't care about fitting those narratives. You, you've been on AG for two years, so you're gonna, fit those narratives and and if you guys watch this show do you know who does that a lot nick you're gonna love this one you know who loves to fit their narrative a lot and they'll go out of their way to be wrong to fit their own narrative from a year ago pete prisco <laughs> pete prisco <laughs> d did that pete prisco <laughs> picked the packers to be great so far th this year and guess what he did for eight weeks in his power rankings he put the packers in the top 10 which it wasn't true and he put the lions at like 18. So if you want to be the Pete Prisco and try and fit your AG narrative and the Jared Goff narrative and, and ignore things that you don't want to... So that, that's all I'm addressing, brother. I'm sorry. I'm starting to get heated again. I have to calm down.